The world has changed a lot since I was born 25 years ago, and I don't know if it's made any of us happier, but I'm going to tell you a story that's changed my life. That's Genevieve Taylor and Julio Alvarez. Genevieve is an art director for an ad agency who has become disenchanted with her life. Julio just got laid off from his job as a copywriter at the same agency. They've never met before, but that's about to change. What's up, bro? Holy moly, it's Julio Alvarez. <laughs> what are you doing here? You're supposed to be working? I got laid off. I swear to God. It's fucking awesome. What is that supposed to mean? Dude, that place is like holding you back. <laughs> really? This is what it's about, my man. Dude, why do you gotta bring up the past? The past? Dude, this is the future. It's you writing again. Huh? How many times do I have to tell you, writing didn't pay the bills? You nag me all the time about it. Meanwhile, Genevieve had just rolled over her vibrator. <laughs> hey G, it's Ryan. I'm calling to say, I don't, I don't know how to say this, but I don't think we should see each other anymore. It's just, I don't want anything serious. I mean, you got your whole life all figured out. You're an art director at that ad agency. Fuck the bills, all right? You're right, you're good at it. You're an artist, I love that shit. I will sell it. What makes you think you could sell this book? If I couldn't sell it, what makes you think you're gonna sell it? Good luck, bro. Be here all day. You just saved my life. How much? Uh, a dollar? I told you. I think I will start writing again. L is for love. Falling in love is the ultimate act of revolution. For the lover can see that it might be more worthwhile to... It's a new kind of toilet paper. Collect all your favorite patterns. Transformers. Barbie. Zoo animals. It's a revolution in a bloody roll. They need to fire that guy. Actually, they did. Hitchhike to Alaska or to sit in the park and watch the clouds sail by with his sweetheart? What if everyone set the stakes high and live each day as if it were the last? What do you think, Genevieve? Brianna? Bloody roll. Think what a place the world would be. I thought your thing for this woman was cool at first, but now... Hey, hey let's how go. are you? Hi. Hi. Just make sure she's not wearing technology, because you, you're scared of technology. <sighs> Come on, bro, don't give me any shit. Come on, you, you gotta help me out. Just hang out with me one, two more days. That's it, all right? I really want to talk to her, so relax. Here she comes, all right? Hi. How are you? Even here? You're seriously going to be reading a book in a bar? What's it about, anyway? It's an anarchist philosophy book. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I first read it in high school. The first guy I ever fell in love with gave it to me. The writing is really amazing. I'm like floored by whoa, it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Love you in love. Yeah, so what? So, um, let's see. We've been working together, what, five years now? And I tell you everything. And I try to get you to go out with guys. I don't just fall in love every day. I'm picky. Besides, I'm over it. That anarchist ran off of some evangelical girl in search of Jesus. <laughs> so see what happened there? I would rather be alone than get hurt like that again. Here, let me read you my favorite part. Really? 
There is no place for the passionate, romantic lover in today's world, business or private. Passionate love is ignored and feared, for the lover speaks a different moral and emotional language than the typical man does. The average man has no overwhelming, smoldering desires. Sadly, all he knows is the silent despair that comes of spending his life pursuing goals set for him by his family, his educators, his employers, his nation, and his culture, without ever being able to even consider what needs and wants he might have of his own. Seriously, Brie? <laughs> you lose. All right, all right, I'm sorry. Who's the author anyway? Julio Alvarez. Julio Alvarez. Mm. We gotta get out of here fast. Mm. Why? See that guy over there? Yeah, what about him? He keeps trying to talk to me. I, I liked it at first, but now I think it's kind of weird. Look at him. He's smoking hot. Are you kidding? Get some courage, have a drink. No, I don't ready. have any courage, I'm too nervous. Okay, I'll take you up on that offer because the dude standing right next to me is beginning to creep me out. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. okay. Inspired by G's notes, Julio returned to the place he wrote the book. He is planning a trip to find others like him where he might live freely as he used to, hopefully with Genevieve. Sad to have lost the book, G returned to the park where she'd first read it. But now, thoughts of another crossed her mind. Hi. Hi. What the hell are you doing with my book, you stalker? Wait! I wrote that book! I don't understand. Fuck this. Genevieve, open the book. You probably didn't know this, but I'm the author of this book. I'm leaving soon and I want to see you before I go. You have been very inspirational to me. Hey, Missy, where are you going? I'm sorry. I found something that'll make me never care about toilet paper again. What are you going to wipe yourself with? Leaves, Genevieve? But now that you wanted Julio, G couldn't seem to find him. This is how the revolution begins. A few of us start chasing our dreams, breaking our old patterns, embracing what we love, and acting outside the boundaries of routine and regularity. Others see us doing this, see people daring to be more creative and more adventurous than they had imagined possible, and join us one by one. Once enough people embrace this new way of living, a point of critical mass is finally reached, and society itself begins to change. From that moment, the world will start to undergo a transformation into a place where our lives are in our own hands. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what has inspired me to quit today. Well, that was one hell of an exit interview. No kidding. Mm -hmm.